First of all, uh, there has never been a really successful juggler. Um, the most successful magician, you know, if, if you walk down the strip, if you actually walk down the strip, there's a 300 foot picture of me on the side of the Rio. If you stand in front of that picture and say to someone on the street, can you name a magician? They will say yes, and they will say Harry Houdini. <laughs> they will name a magician who's been dead for almost 100 years. Um, at least someone in magic got really famous. No one in juggling did. Uh, the reason I got into juggling, uh, it, was a, uh, it was really a business uh, decision. You know, Steve Martin said that if you desperately wanted to be in show business and had no talent, you should go into magic. Um, and he's absolutely right um, in that it's a way of thinking of stuff that doesn't require a lot of the stuff usually associated with show business. When I was in high school, I was a huge fan of rock and roll. I loved the Velvet Underground. I loved Bob Dylan. Uh, I loved the Mothers of Invention. Uh, and I've always been perplexed by people who love someone in the arts and then try to do that same thing. There was a thing written in the 70s for a band called The Residents, who were an avant-garde art band in San Francisco. Whoa! Who would have thought a Residents? Oh, I'm so happy about that. Uh, well, Gary Panter wrote the Raj Talk Manifesto, and it had in it a sentence that propelled Teller and I along, which is, if you don't like supermarket music, for Christ's sake, start making supermarket music. Uh, I hated magic, and I hated circus. And when I looked at the hand I was dealt, when I looked at my looks, my intonation, how good I am with music, my sense of time, when I listened to my voice, when I looked at that hand I was dealt in high school, my, my level uh, of intelligence, my, my ability to speak, when I looked at the whole hand that I had, I looked at Bob Dylan, and I looked at the Mothers of Invention, I looked at the Velvet Underground with Lou Reed, and I said, if I try to compete with these people, I will lose. They're better than me at every front. And then I looked at Doug Henning and David Copperfield, and I said, I'll give that a try. <laughs> I can take them down to Chinatown. I can do that. So um, I started to juggle because uh, I wasn't good I didn't have a natural talent. I wasn't really good looking. Uh, I, I wasn't tremendously funny. I wasn't uh, really a good musician. And I knew that with juggling, you have broken show business down into just practice. It's just practice. There's no talent. There's no getting lucky. It's just practice. And starting at 12 years old, I practiced every moment that I wasn't in school and then got out of school and practiced some more. Uh, when I was 18, I was practicing eight hours a day, six days a week. And that wasn't just light like you're working a job and punching in and just putting in time. That was really trying to get good. And by the time I was 19, I was one of the best jugglers in the world. And I thought at that point that everybody would say, oh, you're a really good juggler now, have a job. Turns out it doesn't work that way. <laughs> and what I did was I went out and I juggled and I talked. And the first shows I did when I was in junior high and high school, because the first person I met in show business was me. Uh, I had no idea. I never met anybody in the show, but I didn't know how you do it. The first shows I did, I would do a minute of talking up front, and then we would juggle. I had a partner. We would juggle for like 10 minutes. And then after the show, people would say, you know, I really liked what you said, and the juggling was nice too. So the next night, it was two minutes of talking, and there would be like eight minutes of juggling. And I found out that I had more success and made more money the less I juggled and the more I talked. So I'm here tonight to say, I'm not juggling jack shit. I'm just talking. But that was my way of getting there, you know, out of a, out of a, out of a dead town. <laughs>